Well, if you have kids, uh, then you know what the first year is like. If you have one, diapers and feedings and trying to sleep through the night. But imagine that times seven. I don't know if you can imagine it. But take a look, if you will, at a typical day at the McCoy household. A typical day. There are times when it looks hectic. More times when it sounds hectic. But despite the obvious challenges caused by raising eight small children in a very small home, the word that truly describes the McCoy household is organized. Every day has a battle plan drawn up by General Bobby McCoy. We have a very definite schedule for each day, and there's not very much that will disrupt that. Let's see, where's Joel's bottle? Most mornings start with bottles around 7 a.m., the first of 30 that Bobby will make that day. By 8 a.m., the first shift of volunteers is in place. Even with two volunteers present the entire day, Bobby still gets no rest. For laundry, we go through about 15 loads a week. Diapers, we go through um, between 35 and 40 a day. The septuplets do take three-hour-long naps a day, but even that takes work. To cope, Bobby relies on her secret weapon, laughter. A lot of what you do is not fun, but if you can kind of see the humor in it, it helps things out a little bit more. Seeing all seven of them smile is probably one of the best things. It does your heart good. <laughs> By the afternoon, the troops are raring to go. After their main meal at 3 o'clock, it's time for a little exploring. By the way, you see why Kenny earned the nickname the Wild Man? In fact, each of the septuplets is very active. Their newest maneuvers include pulling, kicking, chewing, and fending off the occasional stealth attack. I think most people are surprised at how individual the kids are. There are seven separate people that just happen to be born at the same time. By the time Dad gets home at 6, his battalion is tired, more than ready for their goodnight kisses and cuddles. Lights out at 7 comes without a fuss from the Miracle McCoys, after all, tomorrow is another day. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so do you all have any, you have time to be alone? You still do? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. At kids nights, are, yeah. at nights we, um, after we get to put the kids to bed, which is, they're probably about asleep around 7.30 to 8.00. We have from, from 8 till 10 or 11 or whenever we stay up and go to bed and then wow. in the mornings um, before I go to work. And then uh, we have a little, a special night um, we try to make during the week and that's Friday night. We just have a date night. You guys get a date night? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. There never was a moment where you thought, how am I going to take care of all these children? Oh, there was. Uh -huh. There was. <laughs> yeah. at, right at first, when I first found out I just remember it very, very clearly. We were sitting on, Bobby was sitting on the floor and after she had gone to the doctors. Uh -huh. And uh, she uh, says, well, I says, what's the news? And, and she goes, what? And she just kind of looks at me funny. She goes, well, I says, well, what is it? Is there something wrong with them? And she says, no. I says, well, what is it? She says, it's the quantity. <laughs> I'm going, oh, twins, right? No. Triplets? No. Quad. No. Oh. How many then? <laughs> Seven, and I'm going, oh, no, no, no. <laughs>started eating glass? And it was the first year that I had met my husband. We weren't married. I brought my husband over. I wanted to meet my family, everybody. And here's my father eating glass. And this is the man that I'm, like, in love with. How do you I eat glass? He ate the glass. He think no, 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 I'm not going to do it. I never took beauty seriously. You I didn't. think, I know. I Obviously, I'm not stupid. I know the commodity of it. Yeah, the commodity of I it. I know it will open doors. I know mm. it will take you pretty far.